Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. So it turns out all front covers are not created equal. This is the front cover I had installed on the 440. And after I had it installed, I wanted to put the damper on. And I went to do that. I looked at the hole and I can see, I didn't have to put the damper on. I can see that the crankshaft was not in the center of the hole or the seal and the hole here was not concentric to the crankshaft. And I looked at it real close and the bottom of this um, cover here is part of the oil pan gasket part of the oil pan rail where the oil pan sits and it was down by an eighth of an inch couldn't figure it out it was really weird i never had that happen before that's why i'm sharing it with you in case you have to check it now i called the place where this cover came from and i told them the problem i was having and i asked them if they had a 440 block there and i asked them to find one in their stock put it on the block and make sure that the oil pan rail here was aligned when you put it on the front of the engine and align up the dowel holes. So they found one they said that fit the best. They sent it to me and I put it on, put it on the block, put it on the engine. It was still off by about 70 thousandths and that is 70 thousandths too much for me. So what I had to do is uh, all of the, it seems that all the stampings were correct. It was stamped out. This is just a stamped steel thing. Um, and it looked really close, but the dowel holes. I checked the dowels in the block. They were centered. They looked okay. They were clean. I tried to tap them a little bit, but they, they were straight enough. Uh, I, I had to elongate this hole by 60,000, 70,000 just to get this cover to line up with the bottom of, of the oil rail, oil pan rail for the oil pan. So I'm going to show you what I did to do this. And when you put your front cover on, you really should use the damper to align the cover to the crankshaft as you put it on. That way it's centered. So when you put your bolts on, the damper itself centers the cover to the crankshaft. When you're putting on a front cover, the most important alignment is the concentricity of the seal to the crankshaft. Now, when I have the original cover or the, the cover I purchased, I put this on here, the original dowel holes had it sitting right here. And as you can see, this is down by an eighth of an inch on each side of the on each side of the block where the oil pan is, which means it's too low and it's not concentric with the crankshaft. If I would have put this together the way it is, the seal would have been off-centered and it would have leaked immediately. So I had to take these holes, and it's I think only the, the pins are off just ever so slightly. So I took the pin holes and just elongated them a little bit, elongated them. So now this is where it was sitting, and now I can get it, this is where it's going to sit. Now, I can put some sealant on here, and I'm going to use the damper itself to center the cover onto the crank before I put any bolts in. One more tip for you, when you're putting sealant on your gasket, you don't have to go to the outside of the bosses. Because when you put the cover on, all it's going to do is squish out. You don't need that. It just has to go along the inside edge nice and even all the way around and wipe out inside the block so you don't leave any sealant on the inside. Now, I'm going to set the cover on. I'm sorry, I'm using the Rhinza seal. Rhinza seal, that's the stuff I've been using for this engine. Um, now, I'm going to set this on here and I'm not going to push it on the, all the way. I don't want to have it stick right where it's going to want to because I'm going to put, put the damper on here. Again, the keyways on the bottom. So, I'll put this on, line this up, and I'm gonna put the cover on here and let it float on the on the uh, damper here. I'll let that float, and I'll line up. I'll just drive this on here a little bit, and I'll let it line up to the damper. Now I have the damper on there far enough so that the seal is riding on the damper, and I'm going to push it back into place. Without guiding it myself, I want the damper to center it. And as I push it onto the dowels, that's where it has to live. And it's slightly underneath here, slightly a little bit. I can get it straight, if I get it straightened out, and the holes line up, I'll be good. So now I can screw it into place. Now I can get my bolts started. And again, I'm trying to let the damper keep the cover centered. I don't want to influence it either way. Okay, now all my bolts are in place and they're just like extremely light on the finger tightness. And I want to check to make sure that it's not rotated too much. 
just make sure that it's even on both sides. You want to rotate it around the, just to make sure. Rotate around the crank and it feels pretty even. So I can leave it just like that. Now I'm sure that the cover is centered on the crank and it's centered on the damper. That way the seal will not leak. Now I can just leave the damper on here temporarily, not screw it down all the way. Check it with a straight edge along the oil pan rail and it's nice and flush. Now, now we're good. So that was really odd. Never really happened to me before. That's why I wanted to share it with you. When you put your front cover on, make sure it's lined up to the center of the crank with the damper before you bolt it down. Eliminates a lot of headaches. I had to buy a new gasket, clean up the block, added a lot of work, but now it's perfectly centered and I'm sure that the seal that's in the cover will seal on the crankshaft. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.